thanks for joining us, Zoe. Um, tell us a bit about yourself, where you're from, your background and your creative practice. Oh, sure. Hey, Karen. Lovely to see you. Um, I grew up on the beaches of Sydney, so from the north side, and I've migrated down. I'm now Mexican in Victoria and I live in Meetung, which is a really beautiful seaside community. I'm a painter. I'm an acrylic painter on canvas and I'm learnt from everything I've done in my life and I keep studying but I haven't actually been to uni to learn art and I paint as I go so I'm a real um, inspirational painter in the sense that I take what I see and I feel in the landscape and I bring that back into the studio into the canvas and I literally bring it back into shells bound materials all that kind of stuff so there's a little bit of where I am in everything I do which is important to me. Wow so that's like a real connection to place and connection it to nature. Is. Yeah, it is because I don't um, find that I can sketch how I feel, but if I collect and then I collect, um, I don't know, I collect tones and colours and then that kind of goes into what I'm working on and it makes me feel that it's a real privilege to just be able to go out into nature and then try and re, um, kind of capitulate that back into an artwork, which is very special. Oh, that sounds wonderful. I really like that connection to place. and Yeah, it's a lot of fun and, and it's done different times of day and different times of the year. And, you know, I'm an ex, I used to swim a lot, so I've got a real connection to the ocean, which is very special. So I feel very blessed to be where I am. <laughs> oh, lovely. Um, and so what are your goals and aspirations in relation to your creative practice and the journey you're heading on? Oh, look, everything. It's its part of who I am and I want it to be the main way that I contribute in life and also that I can make an income from. So it's what I do as a part of my soul, but it's also what I want to do as my gift and what I give to the world. So I'm learning as I go along just, you know, how to do that on a practical level, how to be a business person and a creative, and then just to make sure that you keep everything flowing along because you still have to pay the bills. And so it's just a mindset of how you do that. It's also, um, I think with the course with Arts Action, I think that's what it really helped me bring together because you, they're not exclusive. You must blend them together so you can actually, you can't contribute without communicating. And it's funny when you learn that. And then oh. Arts Action really taught me how to tell my story and, and how to define that then in little chunks of what I do along the way to get that out into the world. So, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's an incredible privilege but it's also a learning curve every time you do something different because you've got to find a new part of yourself and a new way of reaching out and in the times that we're in where it's so much more of a digital connection rather than a face-to-face -face, it brings out a new part of who you are and then that comes through the work too so I've just you know the last year has been like wow my head's just yeah. opened up a lot and and I've had to say okay well you've got to look at it too you know how do you meet your power bills and how do you meet your supply bills of what you need in here to keep going too and you've got to still have that balance but I enjoy that challenge because it kind of integrates parts of me so yeah. it's um, yeah, oh, great. yeah, so you've mentioned some challenges there, yeah, finding that balance and getting your work out there. What do you yeah. think the challenges, or oh, you also mentioned the challenges of this whole year or it's almost two years now, isn't it? With yeah, you? it is. What do you think the challenges are um, faced by emerging and practising artists, like in your opinion? Well, just in my opinion, I think the one thing that I personally struggle with and I'm sure a lot of people relate to is you've got to define your story and what you're trying to contribute and, and to communicate. And that's a hard road because you've got to stop and say, hey, all right, my name might be Zoe and I've got a very varied background of employment experience, but this is what I want to do. This is what feeds my soul. And how do I get that out there? And then relate to other people that might want to then invest in my work or invest in me. Um, so that's defining your story has been a really big, big thing for me because I personally, I'm, I'm not on Facebook and I'm not on Instagram and that's just a personal choice based on my, my characteristics. I think that they're incredible tools, but I know that if I was to be in that world, I wouldn't get as much work done. So I just have to balance that, but I have a website. So I'm still in the technical realm and I've had to get a lot smarter with how I do that and how I communicate. I've still learned to go out there and knock on doors in a COVID safe way. Um, in the sense that I'll take a couple of little paintings and I'll have a little brief and I'll be like, hi, <laughs> are you interested in consigning or anything like that? And I've had a lot of really good interactions with people because of that. But 
I don't think if I hadn't have been able to define what it meant to me to be an artist and what I was trying to do, that I would have the courage to go and do that. And Arts Action actually gave me the tools to do that. And that's why I'm, I'm very grateful for what I've learned and what I've experienced with you and with Sharon. Yeah, great. Yeah, you definitely touched on a couple of the key things that Arts Action covers, which is yeah, defining your compelling story, but also navigating the tools to get the word out there and, and, and navigating them so that they align to what your values are as well. Yeah, and it's hard because sometimes, you know, I know that I'm happy for all my um, my images and my story to be shared and other people are so much more skilled at doing that than me. So I think that's one reason why you also have to address, well, what is in my wheelhouse and what am I good at and then what I, can I get help from in other yeah. respects? And I feel... Um, when you when you kind of learn that it's okay to be an artist it's okay to think that creating and painting is important because it is and deep down I have a very big belief that it's you know it's what pushes us forward as human beings it helps us grow and learn if you if you're brave enough to just say hey I think that's fabulous and I'm going to pursue that in my life it could be making surfboards it could be you know crafting a pot it could be doing acting anything that is an expression or a sense of trying to find the truth within you and get that truth out I think that's a really brave and important way of pushing our culture and humanity forward and it's also it's just hard sometimes to make that aligned with a really practical existence as well which we all have to do but what's happened for me with the course too is it helped me to break down my goals and to really really go big picture and get the you know the mind map out there and go where do I really want to be but how do I start and that's what I'm still in the starting phase and I've made little steps but I know that a year to two years down the track it's going to be so exciting you know what I see in the world from other people and from myself because if you do plan it and you do start to work it may not be exactly what you thought but you'll surprise yourself and I think there's good things coming for us all. Yeah. yeah that's great and also just having that space to think big and think like what do you actually really want and putting it on paper <laughs> and then so it becomes real then because you've actually written down rather than it's all in your head isn't it? yeah I have and I've got I'm a big notebook girl and I have a lot and I, I keep going back to them because I learned a long time ago I'm, I, I did a bachelor of arts at uni and I um, learned a lot about psychology and it was all about the quality of the questions that you asked yourself that's how I felt that you pushed yourself forward and the framework that I got from from you guys and working with you was just really to ask keep asking myself better questions and yeah you get that answer and you go okay I want to paint and I want to sell my paintings but how yeah. and why and and what's going to happen if you do that and what if someone says no and what if someone says yes and what if someone says commissions you know and you just kind of got to keep going and that's it's exciting and scary but it's um it's just so precious so yeah fantastic oh great and so yeah you've obviously mentioned that you're a participant in arts action you yeah. attended yeah. The, all the workshops that are part of the three topics being mark ready working together effectively in digital communities what did you love like the most about the program uh, there's a couple of things. So I love the frameworks and the questions that I was able to identify and, and break down my goals into little chunkable action steps. I loved the group accountability that you showed up each week and you were like, so, hey, what have you done? Yes. <laughs> and for people that are often really in their heads or their hearts and busy doing stuff, it's really important to be able to say, okay, I did this, but I'm not sure if I got to where I needed to be and to get the feedback from you and Sharon and all your colleagues that you're working with that are all trying to find that part of themselves too it was really really special and just that you know collaboration is not a dirty word you know that there's a way to get out there and work with people even if it's only helping people get a step forward and they help you in a different way that that communication and that sharing of ideas that's really what I benefited from too and totally new ways of looking at things like to say I want to be a functioning working artist that's good too and a lot of the people that we were working with on, on my course were in that kind of modality and there were brave brave creative people just sharing who they were and that's that's so special yeah and was that a big leap for you going from 
having it as a hobby to actually know I want to be a practicing artist. Yeah, and to actually declare, like I went down the road, not everyone did this, but I went down the financial road of saying, okay, I'm going to hold myself accountable to earning this from my art and how am I going to do that? I haven't met my targets yet, but they're a target for a year, so I've got until the end of April, but I'm on the way and I've made sales and I've made connections and I've changed how I operate. What I found was that I didn't have a big enough body of work and I didn't have a consistent body of work. Wow. so that's that's been where I've gone to really yeah. try and knuckle down and get it done because the reality is if you're fortunate enough to have and because I paint you have someone who buys a painting and then someone sees the painting and they're like could I have three that look like that but different color scheme you've got to be able to do it yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, yeah, and that's what's so super about it and that's what's happened you know so I've had you know I've just finished um two weeks ago I finished a commission and like that was super exciting for me and that came from going out into my local town in an in-between period where we weren't locked down I was lucky enough to have a whole lot of baby works ready and I just started to see a couple of cafes and garden center and a gift shop and someone in the shop saw me holding the painting and that fed on to something else and because I had my little elevator speech ready of what I was and what I did and I had a business card and, and my website was ready, I was able to then move forward and actually do a commission and that was my first. So. Oh, wow, that's incredible. Well done for that. And congratulations for taking it on. Yeah, yeah. It, was really, it was hard because they wanted me to replicate Little Works Big, which isn't always easy for me. And oh, wow. so I learned a lot about what, what my strengths were and I had to go back and I had to learn to draw again and size and do all that kind of stuff. And that was great because I was way off in the la 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 land doing other things. And then it was yeah. like, I need to do this. <laughs> yeah, what's so good and what's so good about it is like bring it back to, you know, you said you set these targets. You didn't really 100% know how you're going to make the targets or if you're going to, but it's got you into action yes, and yeah. getting yourself out there and, you know, you sold some work and you're on the way. If you didn't have that, you'd be selling nothing. So it's amazing to see you progress like that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so, well. so grateful. But it's like you've got a very clever name because it is art in action and it's yeah. You have to act because it's it's that doing that makes the difference. Mm. So did you find anything particularly like useful or even surprising from participating in Arts Action? Oh, absolutely. I think um, the biggest thing that I found that was surprising was when you really question people about why they do things and they share that information, that shared knowledge and that shared experience of all your colleagues on the screen at the same time I just did knock my socks off because people were so open and candid about what they were frightened of, what they were good at. It was everything blending together. And so you don't, that whole sense of being an island just disappears. You're like, yeah. okay, we may not make the same thing or do the same thing. You know, I can't sing, I'm not a theatrical person, but there were people there with the same energy of just trying to communicate in a good, truthful, honest way for themselves and share that joy that they have. And that was incredibly surprising. And and you facilitate that in a way that's so um, it's empowering because if you take the time to really listen to what someone else is saying, you learn so much and it gives you that little bit of courage. It's like standing on the shoulders of giants, so to speak, because you think, okay, if they've done that and they've taken that photograph and they've, they're wanting to see that light, what can I do? You know, can I do that? Can I learn how to do an exhibition? Can I learn how to take a better photograph of my work? Or, you know, what can I do? So it shared permission and it's just that sense of community too. And I, I called that collaboration. I felt that we were collaborative in the workshopping and I thought that was incredibly beneficial. Yeah, great. And um, that peer learning, you, you can't underestimate that, can you? Just the you're feeding right. off the energy of each other. Yeah. One of the things that I've heard a lot is like having the sense of you realising you're not alone because it can be quite isolating in this area, yeah. can't it? <laughs> yeah, it can. And people are very, um, they're very open. And I think when you, you know that certain artists have certain challenges and when they start to communicate that, you think, okay, well, maybe I can help. And I saw a bit of that too. There were yeah. connections of people helping it other which was really good yeah. um, but I think the framework which Arts Action provides to and particularly where to go like digitally all the op options and information that you guys provided it was it was just like eye-opening you just had so much available to you and you could think okay well 
if I do go that way and I and then I can learn how to do this and like there were wonderful people saying okay well you can get Instagram and you can put a shop on here and that connects to the website and that does this and and they can show you that in 10 minutes that you would take seven hours to learn yourself if you weren't totally computer literate so yeah just that that networking and that shared knowledge was just so empowering yeah Yeah. great fantastic so you've already mentioned a number of actions that you took as a result of um, being part of the arts action program and what that opened up for you what what's next for you what next actions have you got on the go ah, look, more work just being much more <laughs> focused on how I manage um how I manage my days get the work done get it photographed get it ready to go out into the world but also to keep um speaking about what I do so I've got to find that medium for myself and I've got to learn some new tricks too like I think I need to learn how to blog and do that because I can put that on the website and that's a way I feel I can communicate then I need to learn how to present and and how to actually market my work in the sense of being able to teach it because I think that it's a big part of who I am to be able to share the joy and and the experience that I get from doing or making the way that I make um, with other people because I find it very therapeutic and healing and I'm hoping that other people will too so I've got to upskill I've got there's more discipline I think that's what I've really learnt um, and just following through on what you say and keep reviewing your goals because they change as you change yeah, yeah. and I, I've got a lot more to learn so I still need to do a lot more kind of digital studies of how to do things better um, but I hope to get to the stage one day where I'm, I'm making and teaching and someone else is helping me with all the back end of everything that I do to get the art out there and the experience out there. So that's the big picture. Yeah. And to hopefully get somewhere where I can walk really close to the sand and it doesn't take too long. So. Yeah, okay. it sounds yeah. wonderful. <laughs> uh, so what's one piece of advice you would provide others that might be considering taking part in the program? Uh, to, to do it and just to be brave to be yourself and just say, okay, I give myself permission to be where I'm at now, but to be open to learn and to do the little, like to do all the exercises and planning and then see it as a, a way of chunking it down into measurable steps because you do feel better when you actually tick something off. You say, okay, well, I've, I've done my bio, I've got that down now and I understand my statement and what I'm trying to do and then, okay, for me, I'm going to work on, I said it was going to work on 30 small works and, I, and when I did that, that was like, yep, tick that one off and then I can go and keep moving forward. So it would, yeah, for me, it's, it's do it be open to learning too because you just you learn from sharing and you learn from receiving and you learn things that you don't even expect that you could understand but you can when when you're in that kind of environment and people are guiding you and sharing with you on the journey um and it just it matters like you matter as a person and as an artist and everyone that collaborates together it just all helps us grow and I think when we learn together and people like you and Sharon facilitate that learning in such a way that gives you a framework and gives you actionable steps and also gives you heaps of resources and information that you might not have been able to find yourself it takes us all to a new place and that's a really great thing to be a part of and yeah I just feel very privileged so I just say get out there and have a go and just you'll, you'll be so surprised at what you can do you know, to actually say, I am a creative, I'm an artist, that's who I am. That's been one of the biggest things for me. Well, it's just so wonderful to have you part of the group as well, um, your enthusiasm and willingness to take it on and, you know, sharing each week. You'd be like, oh, I did this and now I've, you know, created this goal, this target. And, and then I was like, oh, no, I've done this. <laughs> but that's cool too because if you tell it how it is, then you know that you yeah. can move forward. And it was safe to do that too, which was really yeah. special with the people that we worked with so no I would just encourage anyone who's who's thinking about just growing who they are as a person or a creative it's incredibly valuable well yeah it's been a joy to talk to you about yeah, you your too. experiences um, now if people want to connect with you online and find about, out more about your work or how they can you know they might want you to do a commission or uh, yeah I could be how, I could can, be they, how can they find you <laughs> I have a website it's zoebroganart.com um, 
just like that on my little card. Oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and they can um, reach out to me on that at any time. Just send an email or a query through and they can see a bit more about me and the work that I do that's on there. Well, very good. Well, thanks so much for Thank that. You. Keep Thank you. Keep in touch and, um, yeah, let us know how you go with everything. Awesome. I will. And I'm very grateful. So thank you for everything that I've experienced with you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> a pleasure. Thanks, Zoe. Thanks, Bye. Darren.